Hi, I'm Lada from astrolada.com with your April 2018 videos. Saturn is going retrograde, we'll be required to work extra hard for the next five months in certain areas of our life and eliminate things from there. While Mercury is going direct this month, which is great news because some complications that happened the first part of the month will be resolved by the second. I'll walk you through everything. Just a quick announcement though making 30% uh, off webinars that I'm making in March, one with Robert Phoenix on Chiron in Aries. It's only $29. He'll make personal predictions how it will affect you. It will be about healing something, healing wounds that have been deep-seated in us from birth that are the most painful areas of our life. Uh, he will make personal predictions and world predictions. It's only $29 till the 24th of March. And the other webinar is with Krasi, Babylonian astrologer. On the 31st of March, again, it's 30% off till the 31st of March. Uh, it's about ancient magical astrology for modern times, practical solutions and remedies for love, for heartbreak, for uh, financial uh, and uh, career problems. So she will teach you how to make talismans, how to use astrology to remedy difficult situations. The way the ancient did it, how to make also special rituals in order to strengthen your uh, certain indications in your life and in your horoscope, like love, money, you know. So do come and join us. Can't wait to see you. Scorpio, April 2018, and that's for anyone who has their ascendant in Scorpio, their sun or moon in Scorpio. I would advise you always if you can check all three predictions. If you can't, at least do the ascendant sign. Most of you do the sun sign anyway. So <clears throat> what is happening this uh, spring for you, the beginning of spring uh, or autumn if you're in the southern hemisphere? Uh, well, we're having one difficult, the month is starting a little bit tense because Saturn and Mars, the two malefics, are joining together and they're enemies. So it means that they create some tension. Whatever they're together, they, there is like a fight between all the new uh, established, which is Saturn, and, and new ideas that need to come through. And they're joining together in a house, in the third house for you, Scorpio. So. That will be here, Saturn and Mars, especially you feel at the end of March, the first 10 days of April. So you have to work out through some issues connected to thir third house. So there might be some complications in relationships with siblings, with relatives, with teammates, with workmates. These are people in our daily environment that we meet on a daily uh, uh, you know, way. So there might be some clashes. Third house is also our communications and how we communicate with others. It's very social house and with two difficult planets here, we, you might be cha challenged in your communications. You might be challenged and maybe you express your opinions too harshly. Maybe you express, maybe some, some conversation escalates into arguments uh, or maybe it's not you that is doing it. But even Mars is there, so you're involved definitely. But the, these provocations can come from those workmates, teammates, schoolmates, siblings, relatives, neighbors. <clears throat> you know, and it, it's a bit more challenging. But this, the third house in ancient astrology is known as house of improvements. And it welcomes malefics. And as you know, Saturn and Mars are called malefics because they're more difficult energy. You know, they make us deal with the more difficult things in life. So actually being in the third house can push you to, um, you know, do some pretty amazing things that you don't have the courage for other times. Because on another level, third house, yes, it can disrupt certain relationships and communications um, and especially connected to work as well, because Mercury is making difficult aspect to uh, it's called the 90 degree square aspect to the planets in the third house. Mercury is in the sixth house of work. There might be some clashes the first part of April, or the end of March, uh, with uh, colleagues, with workmates, um, differences of opinions on how something should be done because sixth house and third house are both Mercury houses, which are about the technique we have, about the opinions we have, about how something should be done on a practical level. So there might be some clashes of opinions with others. Uh, on how to solve some problem, on how to, or if you're working on some group project, for example, with colleagues, and sixth house is work, third house is work, uh, work groups, 
you know, uh, brainstorming or working on something in a small group environment, they can be tensions there. They can be the need to redo a project, a work project. They can be just work environment and daily, everyday environment is a bit more stressful the first part. And some changes have to be made and changes of plans and things don't exactly go always according to plan. Uh, so something, the dynamics of such work groups and such interactions with others on a daily level can be more stressful, more competitive, six house, the house of competition can also even trigger some uh, lack, some, some balance, some health issues even as well, some emotional, six house is connected to lack of emotional balance or lack of anything that's out of balance, you know, that because of stressful um, business commercial projects or because of stressful uh, communication, so because of arranging some stressful papers and documents, the third house as well. Uh, so, and, and sixth house is our daily routine. So this can be disrupted through such kind of activities, as I said, um, especially when Mercury is making the squares to those planets. <clears throat> and, um, and uh, but don't worry because Mercury starts moving direct in your sixth house from the middle of April. So those issues at work or with your health or with the relationships with, um, uh, with uh, all those third house people that we talked about start getting resolved. So if there was some complicated work project, clash of opinions about uh, how something should be done, uh, <clears throat> delays and complications there, you resolve them by the end of April. Mercury turns direct. It makes the last difficult aspect to Saturn. But as I said, I was talking earlier, I'm jumping around a little bit, I'm sorry. So two malefics in the third house can make you achieve some great stuff. Like what? Third house is the house of courage in ancient astrology. Two tough planets there make you much more courageous to confront things that you are afraid to confront before to <clears throat> tackle on things that usually require a lot of uh, courage and third house is known as the house of uh, doing difficult things. What are those difficult things? In Western astrology is the house of learning new skills. These are so difficult, you know, to learn new skills, to learn to play piano, to learn to play <clears throat> tennis, to learn to operate software, to even to do a new Facebook page or to learn to make a website or to learn to use a new software in the office, whatever. Initially, it requires a lot of courage and it requires a lot of, um, how do I say, it, it, it's, it's not easy. You have to involve your mind. You don't do it by heart. You, you have to use a lot of your brain. The third house is this logical, technic technical brain. And Saturn and Mars, they give you the perseverance and the push to do that. Uh, and so there is a good side to it. You can learn something difficult, a skill that you master now in April. This is what Saturn requires, mastery with Mars, that you are required to use a great deal of the skills that you usually, um, that take you, push you out of your comfort zone a little bit. Skills that you are maybe not so comfortable with, that you really need to mobilize all of your energy <clears throat> in order to use those skills. Uh, Mars and Mercury uh, uh, and, and those, this knowledge and practical skills that you've acquired to resolve some problem at work because of the difficult aspects with Mercury, to resolve some uh, uh, using your skills and your communication skills and a lot of self-control in your communications uh, and a lot of um, uh, strategic planning Mars. Uh, to resolve some problems at your work or with your um, uh, daily work routines or with workmates or to resolve some problems that the sixth house, which is some argument, some enmity, some litigation, sixth house rules, all those things, or some debt. Uh, <clears throat> and on a positive note, the third house is also the house of self-made uh, wealth that comes by us using our skills. So you might be Embarking on a journey to deepen, to intensify, to, to really um, master, which is what Saturn requires. And Saturn becomes retrograde for four months from April, five months from April in your third house. So Scorpio, you have a unique chance for the next four months, starting from April, to really master some skill uh, that will uh, help you have more control 
over uh, and, and master some skill that can lead to more self-created wealth, let's say, because that's what the ultimate goal of the third house is. It's people with strong th third house can basically can create wealth through their own skills, uh, self-initiated wealth. Uh, and Saturn allows you, especially the retrograde period, by first maybe becoming dissatisfied with the current state and that's how Saturn pushes us into doing something and when it goes retrograde we feel the intense pressure either from outside ourselves or from within ourselves to develop those extra skills, to develop those commercial activities or business activities which is third house as well, which are out of your comfort zone, which push you towards more self-made wealth but ultimately by September, October you'd have deepen your skills and skill set knowledge and it can be a great time for you to deep dive and study something. Uh, again, as I said, it's mostly connected not to studying some philosophy, but to studying some techniques, some, uh, you know, uh, something that you can learn with the logical mind, you know. And that's, that's why the third house, when we have malefics there, they can give great results. And I told you, you know, great results that you master. Uh, better skills, that you master communications better, that you master marketing, media, management, commercial business, so people that have business mind on their own, this can be great time for you to really dig deep with this Saturn going retrograde there, to really apply your times three times as hard and to have this three times more self-discipline to master uh, those new skills and those activities that you've wanted. Actually, they won't be something totally new. It's something that you know you should have learned but you've never had time or you've postponed or you've never perfected properly those skills. Now Saturn going retrograde will help you, you know, really make it, will help you really go and do those things that you knew you had to learn for a little bit and to master, you know. So the final result can be fantastic but going back to April, just the first part is a bit more stressful, the beginning, you know, uh, also relationships with workers, teammates, comrades, um, relatives, siblings can be more intense. On the positive level though, you're gonna have Venus in the seventh house, whatever Venus is, we're held by the universe. We're getting a little bit of a green light there, things become with ease and not only that but Venus makes beautiful aspect which is the trine to those difficult planets here in Saturn and Mars. So in April what takes off the pressure from you know certain intense business communications or personal communications or intense relationships with all those third house people that we talked about or uh, stressful need to apply a lot of your knowledge, a lot of your skills is maybe a partner helps you. Seventh house Venus is a relationship. Maybe you're asked to collaborate with someone who or someone who seventh houses maybe ask your husband or your wife how to solve some problem here connected to marketing, to management, you know, third house, to planning, connected to communications, to resolving difficult communication situations or difficult diplomatic, you know, communications with someone. So your partner business or personal partner and another that you consider close can give you great advice or can disperse some of this tension in the beginning of the month that comes to you through this third house or maybe going on a nice date or uh, kind of uh, having some fun with your partner and having loving support from your partner is what can help these things. Um, another thing is that actually your relationships with one-to-one -one interpersonal relationships improve this month. Um, yes, there is some stresses here that, that we said that are mostly centered about something to do with skill, with knowledge, with information, with business, with work. But when it comes to relationships on one-to-one, -one, you receive support. Uh, you can, for example, collaborate with someone on a one-to-one -one level to help you. You can uh, attract a good business client uh, as well. You can attract uh, the support of others in some way. Um, and uh, yeah, so good things come to you from others. Good things come to you from one-to-one -one personal relationships. And it's good time for dating as well. I would say because Venus is in the seventh house is very strong in Taurus, uh, so good time to 
uh, improve love or even to meet someone this is one window of opportunity now on Venus if you're single this year is a window of opportunity for you to meet someone uh, and that takes a lot of pressure from other more difficult situations because Mars is the planet that rules you the end of March the beginning of uh, April it's with Saturn so you are required to work hard on something Saturn is hard work or to uh, kind of be more strict with yourself more disciplined with your skills in, in work environments and all those things you know to to really use your mind a lot as well uh, but what relaxes you what acts like a healing influence is a partner or a help you know help that comes to you from others or a relationship that can improve the whole situation so that's what I see for you, you know, it's an interesting month, um, good things from relationships and some changes that you have to do in your work environment, some changes that you have to re-examine or maybe fix some things to do with your work and to do with um, relationships with those people that we talked initially about. So thank you so much Scorpio and good time to start studying hard and to to really upping your skills and to really taking them to the next level to create long term uh, to to create basically in the coming years after that uh, to master those skills which will lead you to um, self-generated uh, wealth as they say so thank you and i will see you soon again